Hello and welcome back to Mephatipata. Of course I'm Mondef. Today we're not going to work in the tutorial cave, we're going to work out here and just need a little bit more space. I want to start today by talking a little bit about scaffolding. Um, scaffolding is a block, it's very cheap to craft, that um, act as a, acts as a ladder and when you have a whole pillar of it you can knock down all at once. So it's a very useful block for you to use as scaffolding as you're building buildings, right? Because it gives you the ladder aspect and it also, you know, becomes very easy to take back down. Um, right, of course, normal right click to place your blocks. If you left click a sta scaffold that's sitting on the ground or anything that's on a tower, you actually place scaffolds on top of it. So this makes it very easy to make a very tall tower of scaffolding and, of course, knock the, back the bottom one down and they all come tumbling down. You get every scaffold back so you never lose a scaffold by doing this and it's a great way to get up and down. Now, of course, as you're up on top of somewhere, you may want to go kind of side to side. So, you know, I'm sure you're all familiar with this, you know, whoops, falling off, holding shift, and then, you know, you can place your blocks on the side. Scaffolding has a limit. It, wood scaffolding only lets you go over two blocks, and it doesn't let you, you know, click, 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 go over, in, over any further. That is, unless you reinforce it. So let's go up a couple more. And if you reinforce wood scaffolding using sticks, it consumes two sticks from your inventory. The block looks a little differently, so there you can see it looks like it's kind of filled in. It's not a hollow block like the rest of these. Reinforced wood scaffoldings let you go over five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Click, 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 no more further. So that's pretty useful. Now if you're in an environment where you need to do more than that, there is this iron scaffolding. Iron scaffolding works the same way, you know, left clicking gives you a pillar. Uh, you can come over to the side. but Iron scaffolding lets you go over further. In fact, without it reinforcing iron scaffolding, you can go over the same distance as reinforced. That is, the five blocks. If you reinforce, which is done using these iron fences, right click, you can see as well it turns solid, you can go over much, much further. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nope, 12. 12 blocks over. Right? So, that can be very useful while you're building. Of course, if you're here and you're like, eh, I need to go over further, you can always just make yourself, you know, another pillar of this stuff and then reinforce that and keep on going. Knock down from the ground. It all comes tumbling down. Your reinforced blocks will also drop your reinforcing material. So, here are my sticks from the wood scaffolding. And since it's iron scaffolding, if I use a pick, or in this case a drill, you'll get your fences back from the reinforced iron scaffolding. This is very useful for building. Notice how this hang on to that one, but since it's not reinforced, it only held on to five. There we go, comes down. This is really cool for building, a uh, great way to build. Uh, to make scaffolding even more useful for building, wood scaffolding, wood scaffolding can be used with cement. Um, technically they call it construction foam, but come on, it's cement, right? So if you scaffold up an area, I'm just going to make a little something, nothing amazing, right? Okay, so that's my quote-unquote building. You can use this. This is called a CF sprayer or a, cement, or a construction foam sprayer. It's cement foam in my opinion. Click, 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 and it fills in that whole area. All the scaffolds pop off as well any sticks that you use to reinforce those would pop off as well and you get yourself a block that looks like this this holy block you know it's kinda ugly actually it's just like a white and it's got holes in it and all of that but this is just the uncured form it's very soft you can just left you know left click it with your fist and it'll you know you'll break the block but it turns into this which is a much prettier block a much prettier block and you just let it sit for long enough it'll all turn into that awesome looks great. This can be broken using a drill or pick and when broken it doesn't drop anything back out. So yeah you might want to be careful but if you misplace these they're easy to get rid of. You can kind of you know fix up your shape and do whatever it is that you however you wanted it to sit before it hardens and then you can let it harden. Let's go ahead and let that harden for a moment. So doing this you can very quickly you know frame out a building you can you know, come here, and then you know you can maybe bring it out that way a little bit, and then a little bit further, and you know, come out here, and 
over here. I'm being sloppy, but you know, you get the idea. And then you come through with your construction foam, you're just like, bloop, bloop, bloop. Give me all my scaffolding back. Oh, be careful where you click with this. When you click somewhere that's not a scaffold, it drops a whole like pile of this stuff on the ground. And this will suffocate you. This stuff will suffocate you. So let me show you what this looks like when while this hardens here. You just click on the ground, right click. Oh, my sparrow is empty. Here's a good point. The sparrow will empty out and you use these CF pellets to recharge it. So you just you know grab and recharge each time it pulls another one. I'll show you a better way to do this in a minute. There you go. It's recharged enough. Right click and it just drops a pile of foam on the ground. Not a specifically useful feature unless you're trying to fill an area in with the with blocks and make it solid. But yeah, there you go nonetheless. It can be done. So these blocks, they're all gray. Of course, if you're going to frame a building out, you might not want this to be gray. And so we have this great feature called the painter. The painter, when loaded with ink, so here's now a gray painter. Right click and you can paint the block many different colors. Let's paint this one over here too. Nice. So let them harden, paint them up. You can't paint the construction foam itself. You have to wait for it to harden. And you can't dye this another color like you might expect. You actually have to clean the brush first and then you can paint it a different color. And you can paint right over. And it works great. Works fantastically well. Keep in mind, a clean painter and a white painter, those aren't the same thing. So here's a clean painter, which, oops, dropped on the ground doesn't do anything when I click on the block but a white painter although the icon looks almost the same will actually paint the block white so using this you can you know set up a frame fill it in very quickly and paint it to match the style of your building this might not be perfect for everything but it's a very neat construction uh, you know design notice how this painter it has a a damage meter. Uh, the ink will actually run out and then you have to refill it with ink. It'll become a normal empty painter again and then you have to refill it with ink in order to get it back to be full. So we'll paint this pink. Why not? Alright, so it's pretty cool. It's a very nice material to work with. Uh, it has a lot of advantages especially when it comes to like quickly putting a building up. You can just throw the scaffolding up, or you can just go, you know, oh, I need an emergency shelter. Okay, you know, I'm almost there. Almost have an emergency shelter, right? Okay. Because now I'm, I'm completely walled in, and that took all of, you know, no time at all. I took a couple pieces of suffocation damage, but, it, you know, really not bad. Alright. So there's that. Now, I mentioned... This runs out of these pellets, and you can recharge it using the crafting bench. But here's a better way. By using this CF backpack, the construction foam, instead of being pulled out of the sprayer, it'll be pulled out of the backpack. And so you can work for much, much longer. The backpack stores much more construction foam than the sprayer does. So the backpack, however, cannot be refilled like this. The backpack has to be refilled using a canner. So I'm going to run inside and show you how to do that. Alright, so I've got a generator here. I'm running it off of coal coke. It's all the way charged up. And it's connected to a canning machine. This canning machine is how we're going to fill the cans of the CF backpack back up with construction foam pellets. Pelts go in the top, backpack goes in the bottom, and there you go, it's canning it back into the backpack. This will run and it'll use as many of these pellets as it can to fit back into the backpack until the backpack is full and then it will stop. So I was playing with this a little bit, so it has. There we go. And there, there's the backpack is now full. I can take it out. I can take my CF pellets back out. And now I've got myself a full CF backpack to work with. Anyway, that's construction foam and scaffolding. I hope you guys can get some fun use out of that. I think it's super useful. Thanks for watching Mephitabata. I'll see you next time.